Hi, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer, and I would like to talk a little bit about Obamacare, or the affordable, well, it's known as, right now, the Affordable Health Care Act. Well, um, it officially went into effect about three, four months ago. Now, uh, they're beginning to eliminate full-time jobs and turning them into into part-time and people are losing their jobs because of uh, health care or they're eliminating part-time or they're just eliminating full-time and making everyone part-time so they won't have to pay in to the government health care which which is known as the Affordable Health Care Act aka Obamacare I would like to go into some details about this affordable health care known as Obamacare. It is a uh, socialistic eugenics agenda 21 program. That's what it falls under. You could Google this. Uh, basically, uh, there's going to be death panels. Uh, seniors at a certain age won't receive health care. You're going to uh, just be put on a death panel pleading for your life if you have bad health or if you're a senior in generally. Uh, and then they're going to be uh, pushing for abortion. It, well, it's it's going to support abortion. And they're probably going to have to, they're probably going to tell someone that's expecting you're going to have to abort your fetus, your uh, baby, outright. This is Obamacare, known as the Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, and there's other things about this uh, Obamacare, the Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, it, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. The death panels, like I just said, uh, the abortions, they're going to fund abortion. They're going to fund abortion. It's showing Obama's clearly for abortion. He is supporting, and he may even be a eugenics, a eugenicist. That's something from Hitler. Hitler was a eugenics. And he was a middleman. He got all the heat. You got these uh, old money families that, where money gets passed on from generation to generation, which makes them an old money family. The Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, uh, the Warburgs, the DuPonts, even the Bushes fall in that category. Uh, and, and the Carnegies. Well, how eugenics got started around the world and in this country... Uh, these old money families, uh, they've been crossbreeding from, they've been crossbreeding, and it causes a lot of defects, and, well, it was noted that the royal family, one of the prince, the prince, the Jack, who really was Jack the Ripper, one of the princes, pr the prince, back in the 1800s, uh, going into the 1900s, it was covered up and officially they gave the full disclosure about two or three years ago about the prince being aka Jack the Ripper. He had syphilis mugging and raping these women and uh, anybody that was defenseless. That's on record. You could go look that up. Google that. Um, Jack the Ripper was one of the princesses to the the prince to the royal family back in the 18 1900s had syphilis and whenever he raped or mugged these women if they survived if they didn't die they, they would turn out having syphilis they gave the full disclosure about two or three years ago you could look this up you could google it you don't have to take my word for it check into it for yourself google this it's the royal family gave the full disclosure. 
But anyway, uh, yeah, these uh, the royal family, the Carnegies, the uh, Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Warburgs, they're all eugenics. The reason why the eugenics was born, these eugenicists, these old money families that I just mentioned, they were doing a lot of crossbreeding and they wanted to, to improve the cross, their bloodline and the crossbreeding. It, 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 some of them were psycho and they were going crazy through the crossbreeding and that's how eugenics was born. And then psychiatry actually originally spawned from eugenics. The eugenics movement pushed for abortion to come to America, to come to the United States. Uh, Margaret Sanger, she's the, uh, the mother of the uh, abortion clinics or the, uh, the pro-choice clinics for aborting uh, babies. And you can mostly find them in the, uh, in the minority neighborhoods across the, this country, across the United States. You'll see them in the poor, low-income areas. Like, and a good percentage of the women will be black. The, the number one will be black women aborting their babies. The number two that will cut, fall in that category for women will be Latinos. You can look this up. It's all documented. Margaret Sanger is the founder of the abortion clinics where you could uh, just take your just go down there and abort your baby. She was a eugenicist. She was part of the American Society, the Eugenics American Society. And back then, Margaret Sanger and everyone in this country that was a eugenics, a eugenicist, they were worried about the bad rap that Hitler, they, they, would, they would get a bad rap because Hitler was a eugenics. And uh, so they kind of kept a distance from Hitler, even if they're uh, a brother, or sister, or uh, in this club, the eugenics, the eugenicists. Uh, well, Margaret Sanger negotiated or uh, spoke to uh, Hitler through telegrams before we entered World War II and after we entered World War II with Hitler, how to bring how to demoralize this country and and to bring in abortion and we'll accept it with open arms that's on record you could google this don't take my word for it i've done the research i went to i went online to google i went to google searched it in their search engine popped up a bunch of things uh Abortion, Margaret Sanger, eugenicist, talks to Hitler about demoralizing this nation, the United States, a Christian nation, a Christian-based nation to accept murdering an unborn child. That is murder. But anyway, this, was, this is all falls into uh, Barack Obama with the Affordable Health Care Act known as Obamacare. They're pushing for abortion. It's in the bill. And, 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 and it's for anybody, man or, or woman. I'm a man. I have a penis, not a vagina. But I have those services if I have the affordable health care, known as Obamacare. Uh, well, they're pushing for abortions and they're pushing for uh, death panels. If you're a certain age, if a senior's a certain age and they're in bad health, they would have to go in front of a panel of men and women to beg to be saved, to preserve their life, to be saved, period. This is a eugenics program, and it also falls under Agenda 21 with the United Nations. But I'm getting riled up and riled and rattling on, uh, I just wanted to talk about how I'll touch base on the Obamacare being a eugenics program. It's a, it's a, it's part of a eugenics program, and that's the truth. 
and later on when it's fully implemented uh, after it's fully implemented they're going to implement the last stages of it the last stage will be uh, the employers you would have to sign a contract with whomever you're working with with any employer uh, and what the agreement would be when you sign it uh, you would have to sign up to government health care which is the Obamacare the Affordable Health Care Act um, and you would have to pay into it and it and and it's well the health care is crap you won't get good quality health care you won't get nothing basically which it won't help you you're paying into it and after you sign this agreement this contract uh, if you uh, lose your job or uh, get laid off or quit the job that you have the the uh, employer or the corporation that you have a job with that when you s that falls under this contract with Obamacare either lay off get if you lose your job get fired terminated uh, get laid off or quit to go to another job you'll be violating the agreement so the corporation with courtship or a relationship with the government they'll be taking about four or five hundred dollars out of your paycheck because you violated the agreement and well that that's the truth look this up go to uh, whitehouse.gov on the Affordable Health Care Act known as Obamacare and read the 2,000 or 3,000 plus pages of this Obamacare uh, and what th the other thing that this program or Obamacare would do basically the insurance companies written the bill uh, and Obama enforced it under government uh, uh, basically what this is w what it's going to favor the big fortune 500 uh, mega insurance companies how it would favor them if you have a smaller HMO or uh, health care plan a smaller company it's to it's to uh, crush the, the small competition and after they crush it though they'll, they'll buy them and absorb it into their uh, into their uh, mega corporation insurance company it's to uh, kill competition and I'm gonna quote something that John D Rockefeller quoted in his memoirs and he also quoted it publicly competition is a sin we want to be the kings and your rulers competition is a sin you can look up John D. Rockefeller's quote on competition, how it's a sin. He wrote it in his memoirs, plus said it publicly. And you could Google that. I've done it. Just don't take my word for it, folks. Google everything that I'm saying. You could even go to whitehouse.gov and look up the 2,000, 3,000 plus pages of the affordable health care known as Obamacare well Americans people that live that reside in this country that live in this country the residents they don't realize how much this this act this bill is gonna screw everyone it's gonna destroy what's left of the working class and it's gonna transform the blue-collar worker into a into the into a poor working class and it's going to keep the poor where they're at they're never going to become blue collar w worker and, and 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 move out of the slums or move out of the sticks uh, or the ghetto uh, well people it's crucial please think about what i'm saying think critically what i'm saying 
please Google this. You could even go to the archives at your library, archive re old newspapers, uh, even try to find an old book to, uh, to see what I'm saying that is true. I'm not lying. Well, this is pretty much what I had to say about the Affordable Health Care Act known as Obamacare. Well, this is Patriot of the Republic saying so long and goodbye for now and God bless everyone. Take care. Goodbye for now.